Welcome in CakePHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can control our HTML ERs select box. So, uh, using CakePHP. So, for example, I'm just going to create a ER input field. Uh, from. Uh, so, uh, from has a from helper has a method called ER, and this ER. Um, in this ER method, we have to give the name of my field is the param first parameter. So after save, if we just go in our browser, we will see that uh, it has created a year field in here and we are seeing some years in here. So it's a range between 2016 to 2026. So we have to change, we want to change this range. For example, I want to start this uh, uh, Rands from from 2019 and the max value I want to set the current year so you can set it like uh, using the some attributes for example uh, in array in this array I am just uh, given a attribute called mean and I can just give here the minimum brands it will be start with from 2019 and the max value will be the current year for example I'm using for that I'm using the PHP date function and i will give the capital y for get the year uh, in number so so this is the max so now save you will go and it will be browser we will see 2021 the max value and 2019 is the mean value so you may don't want to see this field empty when user will come user should see a year in here so you can just change it like using another attribute called empty so if you just uh, make the empty false then we should see here in here now okay so another thing uh, that uh, you may don't want to uh, see the minimum uh, range 2019 you may want to see the minimum value will be current year and minus five year so for example is that 2021 and if you just make the minus five so it will be it will start from 2016 so, so by this uh, way you can actually change the range by plus five and minus five so another thing you may want to change this order you actually uh, seeing this order in uh, descending order you want to change it to ascending order and you can change it uh, by using attribute called order so this is the order and you may if you just write the order it will be ascending and after save if you go in browser you will see in ascending order so uh, this changes that I have made it by some attributes is actually uh, in CACPHP version 4 point uh, for CACPHP version 4 so CACPHP version 3 has little bit changed uh, for, uh, for example this order using in CACPHP version 4 but in CACPHP version 3 there are some little bit changed so if you use this attribute you have to be careful if you are using CACPHP version 3 so that was today's tutorial I have given both documentation for CACPHP 3 and 4 in my video description so thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next